back to Microsoft Flight Simulator on my Xbox Series S and in this video I'm going to show you how you can find and fly around the Mac Loop in the UK in Wales or the McLennith Loop which is an area which is used by the British military and um, our allies to fly incredibly low to do low flying training. Now in the description below this video you'll see coordinates for the Mac loop as well also with an idea of uh, a start and end point using that one of the local airfields however because the points that you put in for the Mac loop um, are quite close together sometimes when you're putting in a flight plan using coordinates the game kind of intercedes and changes it around so what I'm actually going to advise you to do is to put the um, the waypoints in for your flight plan in manually okay so what have you got to do so First things first, all you want to do is spin the globe round until you can see the UK. Alright, see the UK, there's the UK. And then come down close to the UK until you get to about here. And you'll see the pig's head of, um, of Wales. See there's the ear, there's the snout, there's his chin. And then underneath this sticky out bit, which should be his eyebrows, zoom in further and further and further. And then you'll see, as you zoom into this bit... Barmouth all right and then you want to come east from Barmouth like so until you're at this little bit here so what you should be able to see on your screen is Tabor on the left hand side Mawadi and Dinas Mawadi on the right hand side okay and when you can zoom in this far you can kind of see you should start to be able to see the valleys and get an idea of where the Mac loop is now the Mac loop always goes in a counterclockwise direction I'm kind of so you're going to be coming down here around these valleys up along the road up past this bit and you cut in again and that kind of takes you back to the start as you can see there are a number of, the, of other valleys that you can fly down as well it's a really interesting place to fly but I would say set your start point about there just south of Brithinda and uh, I probably said that wrong, but it's LL, which is Kla, I think, in, in Welsh. Klafrenthic. Um, so start, put your start there, and then your end should be west of Mawadi, about there. Okay. Then if you zoom in, so you're zoomed in like I am, and then just go south, put your first custom waypoint in the middle of that valley there, and then go travel to the southwest. And where Aberclefenny is, put another waypoint in there. Then another waypoint at Chorus. Now when you're going to be flying this, obviously you're not going to be follow just going from straight lines. You're going to be going down the valley. Then you go down to where it uh, says um, uh, Fridgate, or it's north of um, McLennith, which is that town there. So put another waypoint in there. Then you, you should be able to see this river and road. So you come up here and you put another waypoint in there about halfway, uh, just southwest of Semes Road. So put one in there. And then when you get to Semes or Chemes, a C E W M A E S, you want to put a waypoint in there. And again, we're kind of following this river upwards. And then at. Um, uh, Mithlin, you want to put a, a waypoint in, and you can see you can see we're in a valley still. And then when you get south of Abakuawak, you can see where it goes into the valley again, there to the left, and you put another waypoint in there, and then that will join up with your with your endpoint. You could go further north actually up this valley as well. Um, and remember, this is just an approximation of what the um, the Mac loop is. And what I'll do is in the description below the video, I'll put some links to some websites that have maps of the map loop. But also videos, it's good to watch the videos, especially I'll find the point of view video of someone flying the map loop. And when you when you do that and then you, you fly this, you'll see that it is the same places. So I'd recommend you, you know, you know save um, the, the file and then dive in and um, you can fly this really beautiful part of Wales as well. And um, I, this is a better flight than the Star Wars Canyon or the Rainbow Canyon in in Death Valley in California, because that is just like a 
a straight canyon well it's got a few bends in it as you go down but th this is really cool because it goes on so kind of when you when you start off let's get rid of uh, let's get rid of that so as you can see as we you want to drop off lose lose quite a bit of height to start off with so you get down into the valleys now I'm doing this in my Cessna so I can go nice and slow but if you've got something a bit faster that might be a lot cooler And then you can see we've now got our next waypoint. Straight away you can see the valleys and go, oh wow, this is absolutely pretty cool, isn't it? You know, and, we're, and you can see why photographers love this, because this is one of the few places in the world where they can actually be above military aircraft as they're flying along and take pictures down onto them with the ground as the background. You know, normally when you go to air shows and places like that. Um, you're uh, you're taking pictures of um, of aircraft against the sky, aren't you? That sort of thing. So let's get down into this valley. As you can see, we're below the tops of the valley. And I'm doing what about 120 knots. Imagine doing like 400 knots in a jet. So we fly down here. I, it's funny when you watch the videos of the Mac Loop, especially the POV ones with the jets in. You think all oh, the these people <laughs> they must have to live and work with earplugs in. It's like a a typhoon goes over the top, or an F-15 Strike Eagle, or a C-130, or even helicopters fly the Mac Loop as well. Anyway, I won't bore you with any more of my flying uh, techniques, but there we go. Mac Loop in Wales, or the um, McLennock Loop, which I probably said wrong. I do apologise to all the Welsh speakers out there. Um, great, great fun. A beautiful part of the United Kingdom, a beautiful part of Wales, and a really exciting, cool... Um, bit of Microsoft Flight Simulator to fly around um, and I hope you enjoy it. Anyway there we go, if you've got any questions or comments put them below the video. If you've enjoyed the video hit like, if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon.